I'm here with Amon, co-founder and CTO of HashiCorp. How has reInvent been for you so far? It's been fun. It's been exciting. Lots of good energy, fun announcements. So based on the recent announcements, we've heard a lot about Agentic AI. How has HashiCorp been using this to help customers? We're looking at everything from bringing MCP agents for tools like Terraform and Vault and Packer and Console, but probably 30 to 40% of Terraform code is already being written by agents or coding assistant tools. So I think the adoption of some of this stuff has been super, super fast. For us, we're looking at, okay, how do you start applying that, not just for day one of the life cycle, right? You can say, great, I have a blank app and I want to set up my initial cloud environment, you can use you know tools to write the Terraform for you. But it's also looking at the day two, day three operations of existing managed infrastructure. So that's been an area with things like Project Infograph, where we're really looking at how do you bring the context of your existing infrastructure, so then you can actually start applying those kind of AI ops techniques across the full life cycle. Amazing. So one question that many customers have when they adopt Agentic AI is how can we maintain the security without running into any issues? How does HashiCorp address this? I think for us, our view is it really comes back to the notion of policy as code. So how do we create automated guardrails to say, okay, if you're having an agent write, let's say the Terraform code, you're not going to have a human then sit there and review the 10,000 lines. So instead, you have to codify your policies. And those could be security policies, operational policies, you know, compliance policies. So this has been a big effort we've done with Amazon. We announced a strategic collaboration agreement with them where we've been jointly developing a set of these policy libraries for common frameworks. So the goal becomes how do you create sort of a safe sandbox where the AI can kind of play within that. But if it tries to sort of break the sandbox or violate any of those policies, we can stop it in a programmatic way. I love the idea of a sandbox. So in the age of AI, what's one skill that we can all build right now to stay ahead? I think what sort of never goes out of style is understanding the fundamentals. You know, if you're building a modern, you know, let's say JavaScript application, if you just tell the AI, hey, build me a JavaScript application that does something, it's sort of underspecified. You're leaving too many degrees of freedom versus if you knew the technology at a slightly better level, you might say, hey, I want to use the React framework and I want to architect it as a model view controller. And here's how I want the app to be that higher level of specificity allows it to actually generate a much higher quality output. And so in that sense, I think the skill to learn is still the same one. Having a deep understanding of the fundamentals of core architectures, core application building platforms, you know, scaling patterns and behaviors allows you to be much more specific in the, in the guidance you're giving AI and, and much more productive, therefore.